and welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Fortress Craft Evolved. Building up the Mega Factory. So we lost, in between episodes, we lost an attack. It was Boss Central. Holy cow. Our threat level. <clears throat> yeah, our threat level is high. So good thing we're working on missiles. So in between episodes, I went ahead and ran the lines, got everything ready so we could just start crafting missiles. So let me show you quickly here what I did. So here's, here's iron. Okay, turn off the freaking jetpack. Um, here is iron. We're just bringing this right over here, and we've got a little system here to distribute up to eight uh, fuel, empty fuel canister crafters. There's eight of those in there, um, which works out nicely. Uh, so we've got both of these reactors able to make at full blast the fuel that we need now i had to add another turbine down here for this reactor because this turbine and this turbine were not enough to keep both of those going so i had to add that in there so i also ran gold as you can see gold is right here i ran it straight down and in and copper i did something similar i ran copper down had to go down with it quite a ways because we have tin down there as well. So I ran that down and under, so it's all underground, um, out of the way. And then I ran it up into here and I mirrored that set up here two more times. So I've got the gold here for gold wire and I've got the copper here for the copper pipe. So it's this the exact same. It's nice and symmetrical. Um, and just works great we've got eight of each now um, so it's on to trying to get missiles and this is a pretty interesting process because we have three materials we have to distribute into all of our missile crafters and I'm gonna have ten missile crafters up here so without further ado let's get going um we're gonna get first of all i made a couple induction chargers and those are somewhere in here ah uh, there they are i knew they were somewhere <clears throat> okay so we have this turbine right here that i just built that's going to be for the missile crafting process now these four turbines back here are going to be for the imbuing process. And granted, we have one here. Ooh, we are out of plasma heads. I need to quickly get that operational because I do not want to run all of those things down below without plasma heads. So we've already got them over here. I just need to find, <laughs> find the green gooey. There it is. I never expect things to be on the bottom. Okay, so we need to go over with this. Um, and I think we can just go underneath like that. And we need to go straight down from here. So. Okay, I think that. Right. Okay. So let's go straight down right here. And then we need power for both of these. So let's feed them a little bit of power here and here. We've got plenty of solar panels and here. So we're gonna another attack. It's gonna be brutal. Down there, down there, and we're good. I needed to make sure that was set up already <clears throat> let's give it a little bit more power beam a few more of those get those things distributed I do not want to run out of those so the whole system should be updating now I can get rid of all of this stuff now and I do need to beam them over here we've got lots left so I'm not I'm not gonna worry about that just yet I want to get I want to get back to missiles Okay, induction pads. We need, we have, we have a good amount of space here, but again, we're going to need a little bit of extra power uh, for the imbued process. 
And so what I want to do, if I can, is separate these a little bit and see if I can't get a decent system for imbuing. So I'll try to be symmetrical with it. I'm one in from there. I'm not overly concerned with being symmetrical, but I like how, how <clears throat> oh man, I like how it looks. Oh, misplaced the last one. There it is. So this can beam um, in here. Um, we're going to need, let's see, we're going to need a beam. So if that comes straight in like this, we're going to need to beam one in like that. And then, oh yeah, this is going to get right in the way. Well, let's do the power after. Because I could put the power right smack in the middle and beam to the two sides. So let's do the power after. Um, let's look at uh, what it takes to make missiles. And power, uh, let's see, empty missile assembler. Oh, we need titanium plate. I should have looked at this. Should have looked at this before I started recording. That would have been smart. Okay, so uh, we want, uh, I don't want um, 2,000 of something. 200 is good. That way I don't need to set the filter. So let's just put that in there and let that process. And then we can figure out power while that's doing it. Um, so I'm going <clears> to, <throat> I'm going to have, let's first figure out Ideally, I would use a, um, a zipper merge <clears throat> to have one wire and one copper uh, pipe go into each one of these. But I'm going to have 10 of these. So this is not exactly uh, conducive. I, I would need 10 zipper merges, 10 separate lines, um, actually 20 separate lines for 10 zipper merges, and it would just be... It would be a little bit of a nightmare, actually. Because, let's see, so these are all going to be remove only. And we're going to have something, I'm thinking. So if I put a store, if I put a hopper here, I'd be able to push this on this side. I would be able to bring one out over and in to a, a turntable. Oh, that still is that still is iffy. Let's do it this way, where I come up with it. Because the first the first set of crafters is going to go here. Then it's going to have a com uh, conveyor, and then the next set of crafters is going to go here, and then we're going to have hoppers to store, and you know, split off a line uh, to go to uh, the imbuing process. We're going to have two lines that imbue. Well, let's see. So if I bring those in, over, and up into a hopper. I would be able to distribute them a little bit easier. So let's take, trying to think this ahead of time here, take this one, out like this, and then we need one more, no. Uh, I'm going to need a pipe going 
up, and then a hopper, like so. Okay, so that's, oh, let's see. This is one, no, yeah, one, two, three, four. So I have five sides. Um, okay, let's turn my jetpack off so I'm not floating Mary Poppins style all over the place. Uh, and go maybe a, over the top with this one. This is what I do in between episodes. This is how I designed those systems down there. I just sort of looked at it, tinkered a bit, and found a good design. So that is two, and now I need this one to come off this side here. And I need this one to come off of this side, and this one to come off the back. Kind of, I'm kind of screwing myself when it comes to... Actually, I like that. I'm going to come in the back with these. Um, so I'm going to put put them in. And then I need to come out the back with this one. OK. Get so I can climb up here. OK, that takes care of the gold wire on this side. Now I need gold wire to go over there too, and I need copper to come over here. So uh, without, without the uh, titanium plates, which I hope are sort of getting done in a respectable amount of time, let's build, oh, I need charged PCBs too. Oh, I didn't look at that very well. Okay, let's, uh, and really I have a 2000 slot hopper with her charged PC or PCBs. Okay, you're going to get regular hoppers for now. Yeah, I was not prepared for this episode. Whoa, don't overshoot. So I need a similar setup over here for the copper pipes. Um, oh no, it's, uh, I came in to that one, so it'd be this one. Uh, really? Is it that one, really? It's, yeah, because this one comes in over and this is a regular, regular area here. As the hopper comes back here. There we go. And this one goes down. Whoa. I need to push this one up. This is where they're coming out of. So we need to put that in. Although that hopper is one back from where it needs to be. The floatiness, the floatiness is real. And now this is where the hopper goes. Right there. So this goes down, which goes over into this one. This one goes in. Over the top. Just like that. And the rest of those are the same. Actually, that these need to be hoppers. Logistics hoppers, which I don't have any more of. Again, didn't prepare. Just started recording and said, you know what? 
let's throw a caution to the wind and just record an episode. Lo and behold, I was not ready. Okay. So that takes care of those two. Now we need to do the rest here. Okay, so that, oh man. Okay, jetpack goes off. Good Lord. Can't make little movements on blocks with the jetpack on. Okay, so this, Which one is getting the, this one is getting the, okay, so I don't need to come over here. There we go, that, mar that matches that. Now this is where I was getting confused here. And now these rest of these can come straight off like this. And you come off the back. There we go. Good to go. So that is copper pipe for this side. So now we need a setup for the, the, the missile crafters will go here and then I'll put another hopper on top and those will be the other ingredients. So let's look at, let's grab whatever plate we have left and go over here and grab whatever PCBs are done. And craft what we can, uh, not turrets. Um, well, it's gotta be in here. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, missile assembler. Find a spot to put them. I want to face them this way. Whoa. And then, should I be on the safe side and put a hopper on the inside here? That's what I usually do is I put hoppers in the, in the inside um, and I need to make sure these are all remove onlys before I do anything else because they're going to get covered up. Whoa. Not locked, remove only. There we go. Because we're going to have another set of hoppers right on, right smack on top of these. are also going to be removed on oh, oh my goodness the float is real we I'll set the I'll set those stages or I'll set those flags later um, so I'm tempted to just do conveyor belts but I don't want to run into a, a situation where they're not actually outputting on the conveyor belt so I'm just going to set up hoppers for now it's going to be a pretty hopper heavy build because the next set of hoppers is going on this side and that's where the fuel comes in so the fuel is way over here i'm going to need to bring it around and then input the fuel on the top and then once they're fueled they'll either go into the system to be launched or be imbued into the uber awesome imbued missile setups Whew, I got a lot of hoppers and a, <coughs> a lot of permissions to set here. I've been recording now for going on eight hours, so my voice is starting to go. Um, let's see. Any more charge PCBs? Because I know there's probably going to be more of them needed as well as plates no that's extruders i don't need wires i need plates titanium plates to be exact 
just make sure I have some. Valcors are doing their thing. How many uh, organics loots do we have yet? 1,400. Not bad. Not bad at all. Adding them up pretty quick. Once we get the missile system going, the bosses will start to fall, and I need to start working on these other corners. Um, it's such a, such a tedious process that it's kind of annoying. But it needs to be done. So I will set this up. Um, I gave you the general layout of what it's going to look like, and uh, once it's set up, we don't ever have to touch it again, which is nice. So with all of these... We just need to get it set up, get it working, and then just hope it's enough missile construction to keep us going. Well, that'll do it for this episode. So I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.